Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and what I wanted to do was show you how to attach documents in QuickBooks, okay? So I'm using QuickBooks 2019 in this video, but this is really applicable to uh, the last couple years uh, versions, okay? And so this can help you become more and more paperless. Uh, you know, QuickBooks has sort of a document management system where you can scan and keep documents, okay? So first of all, what I wanna show you is if you go up to the company drop-down menu and you go to documents, you're gonna see here, there's the document center, okay? Doc center. So if you click on this, you're gonna see here, okay, this is kind of a, I guess if you wanna think about it, like a repository where you can keep your documents, all right? So there's a couple of ways to do this, okay? So you can click here, add document, or you can scan a document, okay? Now, if I go to scan a document, okay, it's gonna say me, tell me that this was not found, all right? That's because I do not have a scanner uh, specific for this setup, all right? But you can do that. You can get a scanner and you can scan it directly into QuickBooks, all right? So that can make it kind of handy. Now, the other thing is add a document, okay? And when you're gonna use this document center is if you just wanna put you know, uh, if you have a bunch of documents you want to put in here and then you're going to attach them to a specific transaction later, which I will show you uh, here in just a second. All right, so let's go to add a document. OK, so I have a, a couple sample uh, documents here. I've got some PDFs and let's say that you have an Excel file or a Word file or really any file that you want to attach uh, to uh, a transaction in QuickBooks. So it could be a bill. Okay, you get a bill um, from a vendor and you scan it, attach it to the uh, bill when you enter it in QuickBooks and you can get rid of the paper copy. Okay, so you don't need to keep the paper copy. It could be timesheets. It could be uh, an Excel calculation you did. Um, you know, literally anything, an estimate that was not done necessarily in QuickBooks, maybe with a, a um, estimating software, whatever it is. Could be contracts, okay? So you can do anything, all right? And you'll see here, you can also drop documents from Outlook. So if you have emails uh, that you want to, you, you literally left click on the email, hold that button down and drag it over here, okay? So, and you can, you, you don't have to add like this, you can, uh, drag documents into here and it's going to add them. Okay, so we've got our four uh, files here that we have uh, imported into QuickBooks. And if we hit close, so let's say that we go to enter a bill. Okay, and one of uh, one of those PDFs was a bill that we brought in. Okay, so let's just pick pick a vendor here. Uh, Cal Gas and Electric. Let's say this was an electric bill and it was $55. Okay, so if you go here and click attach file, okay, you've got to put your transaction information in first and then you can attach file. Okay, so if you look up here, you can attach it. You know, it doesn't have to be in this document center, but if we click document center, now we can attach one of the ones that we have already uploaded. Okay, so if we click attach, now it's attached to this transaction. All right, so if we click done, you'll see now up here, it shows you that there is one file attached and there it is. Okay, and if we wanna open this, uh, I printed this from a QuickBooks Online sample company screenshot. You can open it and take a look at it. All right, so let me close that, we'll say done, okay. Now, if you also attach file, you can attach it from your computer. Okay, so you can click this, and if you've got it on your computer somewhere, uh, let's say that uh, you know the, the bill was sent to you electronically, emailed, PDF, whatever it was, and you save it to your computer, you can attach it from the computer. Okay, and of course, you can also scan it directly to it uh, with this option right here. All right. So that's it, okay? So this is a pretty handy way to uh, start to go paperless and keep all your files in QuickBooks. Of course, if you are doing this in QuickBooks desktop, you wanna make sure that you uh, are periodically making backups of your file uh, so that 
if for some reason it's corrupted or whatever, uh, you've got a current backup, okay? All right, well, thanks for joining me. Um, leave a comment below, happy to answer any questions uh, about the video. And of course, you can head over to QuickBooks University and join us over there, uh, where I answer all your personal questions uh, for um, members that go through the full training. Uh, the website there is qbuniversity.org.